Hello, good morning or good evening. I'm Snack Attack and welcome to today's video. So last time we left off, we were in a turn of uh I think this is a turn of city, sorry, and we got the experience share. So now we're gonna go check out the bike shop. Oh, is he not here? Okay, cool. So I figure we'll get a bike once we finish the galactic things. Oh, we found the name raider! Holy shit! On the first building! Oh my god. Alright, we're fixing Monferno's name. Heat Blast. Let's go. It's a fan favorite. I love it. Alright. Oh, Jim. Oh, Jim. Oh, hello. <laughs> Actually, his name was Fuckface. He told me a lot about you. He said you're another challenger's on the way. Oh, fucking bet. Oh, cool. So we could just go in and tra bat mm, We can challenge her now, but I think I'm a bit under leveled, right? Yeah, I'm a little under leveled for her, so I'll come back. I think it's better that I go and take out the Galactic HQ first. I think that's everything before we go to the Galactic HQ. Can I use cut? Oh god, it's f**k face. Came here to see the Pokemon statue? Oh yeah, this is the like ambiguous statue, right? Yeah, so depending on the angle you're looking at it from, it's either Palkia or Dialga. So like, head on here it looks more like Dialga, but like from the side it looks more like Palkia. It's a really neat idea. I really like it. Let me see if I can show this. Okay, f**k face. I'm- okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, so like, from over here- mm, is it over here? Depending on like your perspective on it, like further back it looks like it has four legs and so it looks a bit more like Dialga. Whereas like over here it looks more like arms, so it looks a bit more like Palkia. I don't know, some people see it, some people don't. It depends. Alright, what's over here? Oh. We can get another encounter. Okay. Bet. Okay, what'd we get? Hey, I'll take a new encounter. Meditate's not that bad. I think it gets huge power? I think? We'll see. Can't believe it actually stayed in the premiere ball. Holy shit. You know what? I'm glad we got a Metatite. I don't really have a name for this. Handyman. Uh, it wasn't specifically like a Ben 10 transformation, but that was a, uh, what the heck's his name? Ben 23 transformation? I think that's a trainer in the grass. Okay, is this an item? No. Okay. Cool. Can we use cut? I don't actually remember if we can or not, honestly. I don't think we can. No, Cynthia, hello. That device you have, it's a Pokedex. Wait, did she go on a Pokemon journey? That's an actual good question, because I don't actually know if this has ever been addressed. Did she actually go on a Pokemon journey. Because it was to my understanding that she didn't. She grew up in that town where, like, her family were- oh. Did she just give me cut? Yeah, she just gave me cut. Cool. But, like, it's never really confirmed if she went on a Pokemon journey or not, because she just grew up in, like, a town where they worship dragons and shit. It's actually, like, a good point. Uh, we're gonna go beat the shit out of these Magikarp trainers to go get some experience. Because we need to go level up enough to go beat, uh, Gardenia. So let's take on this first guy. What's your name? Push up some tough Pokemon. Let's have a battle. Okay. Let's go. What's your name? What you got? Zachary. Alright, Zachary. What you got? A Magikarp? Alright, we got this. Let's go, Astrodactyl. Beat his ass.
Oh my god, that's overkill. You didn't have to do my man like that. Alright, this is one where I would appreciate the crit. You know what? I'll take it. I can't complain. I did literally ask for it, so I appreciate it. Of course, it's a Magikarp at the back. So do you think this Magikarp actually has a move, or do you think it only has Splash? Okay, for a second I thought... Okay, so it probably only has Splash. Also, for half a second I thought it was going to crit a third time, and I was going to lose it. I was going to be like, what the fuck? But damn, two crits in a row. What are the odds? Um, we can afford to get like one more level on Birdo before we get a switch around. Oh, this guy's got like a full team of six. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Well, at least we're getting speed IVs. Or speed EVs, rather. Quick attack. Oh, nice. I didn't actually expect it to one-shot, if I'm honest. Does this guy just have six Magikarp? Oh, god. I don't know why I, I love this. This is one of the funniest things. A few minutes later. Oh, thank god. That was the last of six Magikarps. That took a while. It's a shame that it doesn't give a lot of experience, honestly. Otherwise, that probably would have given me a level. Hmm. Feisty trainer. I guess I am. Oh, shit. He's only got one. What you got? You got a Goldeen? Alright. Well, at least get some experience out of this, honestly. I'm kind of glad. Ooh, nice. Let's go, Astrodactyl. Oh, god. 201 experience. That's pretty good. Did he get a level for Ripjaw? No. Oh, wow. I'm actually genuinely shocked. Oh, <laughs> you're not a trainer. We're gonna fight this first trainer. Oh, god. This could go poorly. Without further ado, let's jump right in. How many Pokemon you got? You have two. Okay. So you have a Cherubi. Level 17, not that bad. I was expecting I might be a bit out-leveled going into this, but that's not that bad, all things considered. Does it one-shot? No, it gets pretty close, though. Not bad. And they missed a tackle. You know, that's one of the mo that's one of the only downsides of these early generations, is tackle misses. It has a chance to miss, I think it's like up until Gen 5 is when they change that. Either Gen 5 or Gen 6, it's one or the other. But tackle has 95 accuracy, there's a 5% chance it'll miss it every time. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it is fucked that it's like the most inconsistent of the starter moves, and it's the most common usually. Because in the earlier generations, you had things like Scratch that were 100% accurate, but like... Oh, it got burned. Nice! Oh, You bastard. You bastitch, why'd you paralyze me? 276 experience, not bad. I'll take the level, honestly. Does it level up Ripjaws? Nice! Ripjaws level up. The clock will turn now. <laughs> and the clock strikes three. Oh. Yeah, I forgot in this in Platinum you have to fight all the trainers. It's different from how it is in uh, Diamond and Pearl, I think. What time is this? Is this 6.15? I feel like this is an awful way of actually keeping track of the time, considering that, like, you're changing it every single time. Oh well. Hello, your grass to- okay. I really should be reading what these people are saying, but I couldn't be fucked most of the time. Uh, Aroma Lady Jenna. 
She got a Badu. Uh, as long as she... I think these are too low a level to have a Roserade. I was gonna say, as long as she doesn't have a Roserade, we're fine. But I think she's way too low of a level, honestly. Hey, we got another crit. Nice. We're starting to get to the point where, like, our decently well-rounded team and decently, like, leveled team is able to handle just about anything as long as we don't fuck up. Is it a full team of Badu? Oh, uh, that would be funny if it was three Badu. Hey, it survived. Why does everyone want to paralyze me? Is it because I'm outspeeding you? That's kind of fucked. You realize I have a priority move. Okay. I guess I appreciate the little bit of strategy used, but like, why always the same strategy, guys? Oh. Eh, that's not that bad, honestly. That's actually pretty smart. That's fine. Then I'm just gonna spam Mock Punch, because I'm just gonna go first. Assuming I hit, I go first. And I quad resist grass, so that shouldn't do much. A quad res- Hey, with a crit, too. Nice. It did fuck all. You love to see- it. Oh my god. And we crit right back. You love to see it. Oh my lord. Heat Blast is really good for this gem. Just like the fire fighting combination is so good for taking on grass types, because the worst they can do is status you, as you can see in this battle. Like, the worst that happens is they paralyze, poison, or put me to sleep, and then they just take advantage of the turn economy set up from it, or they just or they just stall me out or something. Also, what time does the clock change to now? Is it going to flip all the way around, or is it just going to stop there? Okay. And the water goes out there? Okay. Not bad. Uh, let's cure the paralyzed again. Or I guess paralysis. I'm being a dumbass with my pronunciation. Isn't this the girl with the turtwig? You can't just... I wasn't gonna be distracted to be fair. Oh, does she run a track? Oh, she has a Rosalia. Neat. Oh, this thing might try and poison me. I'm not looking forward to that. Bro, why do every single one of these fuckers just go for stuns for? Stop it. Get some help. I feel like I'm going to lead off into Gardenia's battle by just taunting her lead, because I feel like that's a smart play at this point. And we get our first physical fire move. Hell yeah, we're taking it. Alright, because this is a physical move? Yep, and it's more damage than Ember, right? Yep. Ah, oh, that's amazing. It's higher damage, and it's finally a physical move for a physical fire type. Oh yeah, this is the first generation with the physical special split. So this is the first generation where, like, your m the move being physical or special didn't depend on the typing of the move. So, for example, in gems before- in generations before this, there weren't, uh, special attacking fighting moves. So, like, Aura Sphere didn't exist and there weren't any moves that would do that. Uh, so, like, if you were- I don't think there were any, but if you were a fighting type that relied on your special attack, you were basically useless in older generations. I'm gonna switch in. I'll be right back. Let me go switch up the team. Okay, we're back with a fodder Pokemon just so we can sacrifice something to Gardenia in case we need to, because I don't want to lose either my Staraptor or my, uh, Monferno. Alright, let's see if Face hyped us up properly for her, or if he was just blowing smoke. Let's see if we can talk it up, or back it up, I guess. Hello, Gardenia. Ooh, I love the music. Alright, so we're leading Heat Blast off into Turtwig. Um, I'm going to lead Taunt. Because I don't want to get hit by a stun score. Or anything like that. Don't crit. Okay. Uh, and now we just flame wheel. That's our strat. 
because I don't think I have a chance of one-shotting any of her Pokemon, so I'm just going to taunt them and then hit them with Flame Wheel. Oh lord, both of those didn't crit. Good. Let's go. That's one of her Pokemon down. Alright, on to the next one. So she's just got two left. Cherum. Um, doesn't this thing try to set Sunny Day? I don't trust it. I don't want to get hit by a Spore of any kind, and I don't want it to set Sunny Day. I tried to use Leech Seed. Okay. That was a good play. Oh god, it's faster than me. Is it faster than me? Is it a speed die? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. This should be able to finish it. Oh, no! She had a super potion. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, So it's going to go to Leech Seed. Switch into Astrodactyl now. It's going to use Leech Seed. No, it's going to go for Magical Leaf. Oh, I thought she was going to try and set Leech Seed again. Okay, that's way better. Uh, how much does the Wing Attack do? Oh my god, it's faster. How fast are you, you fucker? I mean, to be fair, it's a level above me, but still. It's also bulkier than I'd expect. Mildly impressed. I might actually have to end up using my, like, fodder switch for her final Pokemon. Isn't it like a Roserade? Don't actually know what her final Pokemon is, and it has me kind of worried. I don't remember. Yeah, it is a Roserade. That's actually mildly terrifying. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm worried there's a decent chance she might one-shot me. Okay, so she did go for Stun Spore. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, it's got a berry. Okay. And Leech Seed is set up. Okay. Aww. Do I risk it? No. No, I take the safe switch. Sorry, Stinkfly, you're gonna die here. I need the... I don't want to lose one of my actual, like, useful mons on my team, so I just want the safe switch. Sorry, little buddy. Both deaths have been me just sacrificing a Pokemon. It's not like they died out of nowhere or anything. Both times, that's just, like, something I plan for, and I'm just like, okay, I could sacrifice this here. So it is Grass Poison. I do feel like it is resistant to me, isn't it? Please don't do a lot. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Well... We're making two sacrifices this battle, it's fine. We're gonna use this to try and switch back over into Heat Blast and hope that goes well. Grass Knot, oh, that's fucked. All right. In retrospect, I probably should have taught it a move or something in preparation for this battle, or I could have prepped up a Zubat in its place, but oh well. Um. Heat Blast. She shouldn't be able to one-shot you. She might outspeed you. It does outspeed you. Don't one-shot. Please don't one-shot. Fuck. That's on me. Well, this might be a wipe, and that's gonna feel bad. If this is a wipe, that's depressing. Oh no. Oh, we lived! 
Holy shit, she has another super potion, doesn't she? It doesn't matter, we got the kill. Let's go! Okay, we lost a few Pokemon, but that's fine. We can make up for it, you guys. Fuck. We lost our starter, though. That is a little painful, but we'll eventually be able to make up for it, hopefully. Losing a Fire-type sucks, but it's glad we at least got through the Fire Gem. Damn. Ah. That is going to be rough to try and make up for in team building. Um, I might have to sink more into flying types and ground types. Damn. Oh well. We'll be able to make up for it. We'll be fine. So now the clock strikes midnight? No. The clock strikes the mild hour of 12.30. Well... We lost three of our team members, but that's fine. I'll call the episode here, so thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys around next time. See you around.